Walker. He is uh, Mark Klass, uh, the founder of Klass Kids. Mark, welcome back to Big 550 KTRS. Thank you so much. Uh, you have been on a crusade. I, you know, I love having you, and I love seeing you, but I hate bringing up the sad story, but you're out um, sort of healing the pain of, what, of the tragedy that happened to you. Uh, it happened 25 years ago last Monday, in fact. Wow. Yeah, my daughter Polly was kidnapped and murdered, and I then embarked upon a mission of preventing future tragedies. Yeah, 25 years ago last week. That's right, the 1st of October. Yeah, a lot of people wonder how you get up every day, how you move on, how, how do you survive 25 years later? Well, it, that's a great question, and, and really it was when my wife and I decided that we would try to extend our advocacy to help other kids, and since that time we've worked in a lot of different arenas. We've worked in search and rescue. Right. We've been involved in over 1,300 cases since 2003. We do our print-a-thon that we're out, you know, doing here this week. Right. Uh, we've worked in, in legislative advocacy, and, you know, we've really pushed all of that. And, and at this point, I can look back and say, well, you know, I think we've done something good in Paulie's honor. Yeah. And that's helped both of us put our lives back together and uh, be in a position where we can enjoy things. It was a national story. You were the center of attention. The whole yeah. country was looking for her. Mm -hmm. um, she was taken out of the bedroom, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was hosting a slumber party with two of her girlfriends while her mother was in the house. I mean, there was nothing wrong. They were not breaking anybody's rules. Right. The rules that were broken is that, the, that they allowed a, a psychopath back onto the street. And right. three months after he got out, he got my girl. He, he broke into the house, took, yeah. her, took her, and then the other girls came to you and said... Somebody just took Polly, right? Well, what happened is he tied them up and bound them and gagged them, told them to count to a thousand. And even after all of that, after being eyewitnesses to that, the authorities didn't believe them for a couple of weeks. They thought that they had orchestrated some kind of a, a runaway situation so she could be with her boyfriend. How, how old was she at the time? She was 12. She'd be 37 now. Um, and how long after she was taken was she ultimately found? Thir 64 days. And how long were you the suspect in that? Not for very long, I don't believe. I mean, the police were, the authorities were really good with me. They told me that I was going to be a suspect and that I had to clear myself. And the sooner I did, the sooner they'd be able to move on to other things. And I basically said, polygraph me. Let's get this through. Right. And so we can find out what happened to you, her. You also, you appear on all sorts of cable shows every time there's somebody who's gone missing or looking. And they, they come to you and that's your advice to any parent. Uh, the minute, God forbid, you're in this situation, don't call a lawyer, call the cops, and tell them as much as you can as soon as you can. Well, and I'm hoping they'll hear me before they hear the lawyers, because the lawyers will start, ca start calling them up and telling them that, let me be your spokesman, let me protect you, and then you change the whole dynamic. Instead of looking for a child, you're protecting yourself, right. which doesn't help the child at all. And those early moments matter. The first... The first 24 hours matter. If a kid's going to be murdered as a result of an abduction, 75% of those kids will be dead within the first, well, within the first three hours. Mm -hmm. uh, within the first 24 hours, 99% of those kids will be dead. Uh, are more kids, is it worse today than it was 25 years ago? No, actually, it's a lot better. There's about about one-third less kids being reported missing every year hmm. uh, than there were back in, in uh, 25 years ago in 1993. Right. Sex crimes and sex trafficking wasn't a big deal 25 years ago. I guess that it's sort of morphed into that now. It's no, that's exactly right. And the Internet's really, um, really promoted a lot of that because it, it provides anonymity to those individuals right. who would cause harm to kids. Yeah. Sure. Was she your only child? Yes, she was. Yeah. Uh, all right, so what are you doing in, in, in town? For the 22nd year year in a row with the Munganast Auto Group, we are doing our print-a-thon. We're going to be at the Kirkwood Police Station tomorrow, fingerprinting and photographing kids using electronic equipment. We're going to give their parents a proactive suite of child safety tools, including the fingerprints, the photograph, a bio doc with blank form field, safety tips for kids, a 12-point plan on what to do in case of an emergency, and do-it-yourself DNA kits. And all of this will go back to the parents, yeah. and the parents will put it in a safe place. That's exactly right. We database nothing. We charge nobody for the service. How many kids have you done this to? We uh, all together, we've done over a million kids. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And the idea is 
God forbid, if you find yourself in that situation, you grab the disc, you give it to the police. Here's everything you 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 need now. Now go find them. Well, that that's certainly one aspect of it. The other aspect of it is prevention. I mean, we're hoping that the, the information we give them will give parents and kids the tools they can use to prevent a victimization in the first place. What do you say to a parent who says, "I won't let my kid, you know, ride a bike. I don't want to let him walk to the school or walk to the ball yard at the end of the block yeah, well, because I'm afraid." Sure. Well, Polly, Polly was uh, in her bedroom. Right. Right. <laughs> you know, and, and I think here's something that's important to understand. One third of all abduction attempts occur on school routes. One third. Mm. So given that information, we can do a lot of things to prevent one third of the abductions that occur in this country. And I could rattle off a lot of names of kids that were taken going to school or coming home from school. So that's the that's where they go and that's where they that's where they Well, it's because you establish patterns, don't you? Mm. And what they're going to do is they're right. going at to at eight oh five I get sure. on the bus, at eight ten I sure. walk the last mile. That's whatever. exactly right. And you're looking for little girls or little boys that are by themselves. Right. Uh, I don't know how you do it every day, but it is a testament to I guess your daughter, right? I mean that's how you get up every day. It's just oh. you're you're trying to turn a negative into a positive trying to make meaning out of tragedy yeah uh, all right so where do we go tomorrow uh kirkwood police station i don't have the address you One, might have it. 131 <laughs> west madison <laughs> avenue right there yeah, that, yeah. It, that's that, that's where the kirkwood police station that's what is. i meant to say yeah there you go uh tomorrow from 10 a.m to 2 free open to the public what age do you recommend kids coming oh we can do kids as young as just a few weeks old our equipment is that sophisticated and i, I have to mention the fact that this is underwritten completely and totally by the munganast auto family our, our great local sponsor you betcha uh, all right so as kids as as young as a few weeks mm -hmm. uh, old how old should we plan on having their kids do well, this. Well, we don't have a lot of 70-year-old mothers bringing in their 50-year-old kids. <laughs> Certainly understandable. You know, but, but a 16-year-old, a 12-year-old, sure. well, I mean, uh, where do if you... If a 16-year-old will put up with it, we'd love to have them. Right, sure, yeah. Of okay, because you would assume a 16-year-old might be past the age of of being abducted but I mean they're not well, past the age of being abducted but they're certainly past the age of wanting to sit for a photograph okay for I me, got you. but you know but you know what though if it'll put if it'll give your mother or father peace of mind do it go and do it absolutely uh, 10 a.m. tomorrow 2 p.m. from 10 to 2 uh -huh. Kirkwood Police Station uh -huh. 131 West Madison Avenue free open to the public uh, Mark Klaus you are always welcome here uh, the website to find out more klauskidsfoundation.org uh, classkids.org, yeah. Classkids.org. You are always welcome here. Thank you, sir. You're the best, man. Uh, 946 here. Big